and a very good morning to everyone. Meteorologist Kyle Granger in the WVLT News Center, where we are continuing to watch the next uh, WVLT first alert weather day that is going to be with us coming up on our Saturday. Yes, we're going to kick off the new year with some strong storms and the possibility that we could see uh, what will be some localized flash flooding in some locations because we've already had a wet day yesterday, not a lot of time to dry it out, and then we're going to come back with another round of inch to two inches of rain in a short period of time plus the rain we get through the course of the overnight hours on our Friday. So we wanted to bring all of this to your attention right now. Let me take you to the radar and cloud track over the past couple of hours. You can see we've had uh, just kind of this clearing trend. We'll get some sunshine in here uh, for parts of the afternoon. And you can see a couple of sprinkles have moved through parts of the uh, Smoky Mountains, but nonetheless, that system that was with us uh, does continue to exit at this particular place and time. So here's the uh, broader perspective down to the south. That's where all of that heavy shower activity is right now uh, and has been for the past several hours in Atlanta with some of those strong storms starting to fire up moving into the Carolinas and parts of the, uh, the upstate of South Carolina. So for today, we're going to be right in the uh, 60s, about 67 for that high. That slow clearing is going to continue. Then overnight tonight, we become cloudy and that sets up our Friday and that starts off with what we're going to be seeing here on Friday with some winds that pick up by the time we get into the afternoon. You can see a 20 mile per hour wind gust not out of the question for Friday afternoon during the overnight hours. Saturday morning starts off breezy at 30 mile per hour gust, a 30 mile per hour gust from Knoxville up to La Follette in the Middlesbrough. We've got some deeper purples coming into play as we approach 40 mile per hour gust by the one o'clock hour in the afternoon on Saturday, and that stays with us right on through six. And then that sets it up for those strong storms that come through where Middlesbrough and this particular solution shows us over 40 miles per hour. So a windy night and that sets up those storms definitely could bring down some tree limbs uh, as we move forward uh, with the, the uh, forecast you see here on Saturday. We're dealing with uh, uh, some uh, showers that will be with us, especially as we move right on into the evening hours as well. And I wanted to take us back and get some uh, other graphics here to show you. And, you know, this morning we've had uh, a very uh, time very time period where we've had lots of uh, fog that is out there. I'm trying to reset something here uh, on the computer for you, if you will, as we do this live. Sometimes it takes a, an effort to talk and to uh, redo something at the same time. Wanted to go back to uh, what's going on with us this morning here in Knoxville and no doubt many of your uh, locations as well. We've got patchy dense fog in downtown Knoxville. You can see that from this uh, Children's Hospital camera and we continue to have visibilities that are down to that less than half mile range in many locations. You can see here deep uh, grays for parts of uh, South Knox County and the Seymour parts of Maryville Blunt County out by the airport in Alcoa. Athens has improved as well as Madisonville. Rockwood looking pretty good this morning. Downtown still reporting zero. And that's the same situation over into Morristown as well. Uh, Sevierville uh, is looking better right now at this place in time. Here's the uh, situation with our temperatures. We're approaching 60 right now in Knoxville. Most of us are in the upper 50s doing pretty good. We're nice and warm. And here's that radar and cloud track once again we just showed you. So the clouds are with us. They're continuing to exit out of here. The heaviest of this activity that moved through our neck of the woods yesterday continues to pull off into the Carolinas and we'll continue to see this mix of sun and clouds for the afternoon. A slow clearing is what I'm calling it for today. Uh, with that 20% coverage, we may ring out one or two little stray showers and that's the situation overnight tonight as well as we become cloudy. Here's another look at those uh, gusts that we experience through the course of our Friday uh, as well. So we've got uh, other uh, avenues that we are going to be experiencing here as we have rounds of rain that come through on our Saturday, bringing some heavy rain, gusty winds at times. And also moving forward, we are going to see uh, these alert this alert day on Saturday. Then on Sunday, we keep some rain early on. Temperatures dive throughout the course of the day and into the afternoon. And that transitions all that moisture into a mountain snow and some of you will see some flurries that is not out of the question uh, as we move forward into our Saturday as well. I want to go back to uh, some of the other maps and we pull up some other things that we are working on here and show you uh, what, what we expect to be happening coming up on Saturday. I'm just trying to get my mouse to cooperate here. I wanted to pull up a future cast for you and show you what's going on. 
uh, in this uh, situation as well. So here we go. Let me just lay out for you what um, is going to be happening here uh, on our New Year's Eve. Many of you have plans on New Year's Eve and we do expect uh, New Year's to be quite wet uh, as well. For some of you, it'll start earlier uh, if you're farther north and west of Knoxville. But what happens right when we get into the heart of uh, many of those celebrations, we're gathering downtown Knoxville, we're gathering uh, out in Gatlinburg, we're going to be experiencing the winds pick up also those uh, gusty uh, showers that come down and some heavy downpours at times not going to be out of the question. So. Um, let me hit play on this. We might have to go through some of these graphics uh, together once again. And if you're just joining us, we are experiencing a, a pretty hectic uh, situation downtown where we do have limited visibility. In fact, hard to see much uh, from that downtown camera that we have over at Children's Hospital. And visibilities are not looking all that great for many areas from Knoxville to Gatlinburg over into Mirable and Sevierville uh, as well. So here's a look at what's going on right now with the temperatures. We're at 50 58 in Knoxville to 59 over into Oak Ridge. The rain is down to the south and here we go with your forecast for the rest of this day. We'll have this clearing trend. Temperature wise we get up into the 60s by the time we get into the afternoon and overnight tonight once again we're at 52 becoming cloudy. Here's where I wanted to go with you on our Friday. We start off cloudy and then by 7 o'clock in the evening we'll start to try to ring out a couple of these showers. Moving forward, here's 9 o'clock. A couple of more showers start to form and develop, inching closer to Knoxville. And then becoming a little more widespread through that 11, 12 o'clock hour. This is an updated uh, model situation than what we had earlier today. So this is uh, postponing the event until many of us are done with our New Year's. But we do believe that some of these showers will be with us and some of these producing heavy downpours uh, throughout parts of the day coming up on our New Year's Eve. So this is New Year's Eve now, 6 o'clock. We're at 66. Stay warm. I mean, that's the story. We stay warm. And then for the evening hours, some of you may be doing that ball drop in Gatlinburg or the fireworks in Knoxville, counting down to that new year. And here's that forecast 80% coverage. So some heavy downpours for the overnight hours and can't rule out that one of these uh, storms is a thunderstorm, which will uh, obviously be some problems. So we do have a severe storm threat for the level two now for our entire uh, coverage area uh, in the Knoxville vicinity. So from Knoxville west to Crossville east to Newport up in the southeastern Kentucky, our counties there from Harlan to Williamsburg and all the way south into Madisonville and Athens. That is where that severe storm risk is set up for us on Saturday. And you can see here that bullseye like we experienced yesterday, kind of a similar situation for us today with another bullseye right in the heart of the Dixie Alley. So there's the future gust that we expect to wake up to on our Saturday morning around 30 miles per hour. Not out of the question by the afternoon we hit 40 in some locations. Here's the rainfall map that I wanted to tell, tell you about. We're in line for an excessive rainfall risk that uh, is set up uh, by the uh, Storm Prediction Center. And look at this, another inch and a half to two inches in many locations. And that is something in a short period of time. We've already had that already this week and we'll get it again. And that will lead uh, to some runoff issues with those creeks and streams. Ground a little more saturated than it was on Wednesday. So that means it'll have a uh, limited time for it to just seek in and, and get to where it needs to go. Um, so it could cause some problems and runoff issues, especially in some of your neighborhoods. Here's a timeline for Saturday. We start off not another question any given place in time. We could have a few showers or sprinkles that work their way through off and on through the course of the day on our Saturday and then it's the evening hours. We're going to pay more attention. The rain becomes more widespread for the eight o'clock hour. Notice we've turned the banners red. We kick in the high gear of the WVLT first alert weather day. Some of these uh, pulses of energy and these stronger storms will manage to move through Saturday night. This is 1030 at night. It's dark. Many of you are in bed or trying to get to bed, maybe recovering from New Year's Eve. And here we go. We have to watch out for some of these storms what may be happening in your neighborhood. More yellows on the map as we go through the 130 hour and even in the overnight hours, three o'clock in the morning, some oranges still showing up on the map uh, for the Smoky Mountains and those are when we will have some of those gusty winds as well. So something very uh, interesting for us to pay attention to right on into the early part of our Sunday. And once all is said and done, we get that colder air that comes in and here you go. That transition starts and we start to have a few uh, snowflakes that start to fly when we get uh, down below freezing. So that's what we expect to have to happen for us uh, coming up on our uh, 
Saturday into Sunday and all of us looking at this WVLT first alert weather day on Saturday. Of course, while we have everything covered for you uh, on the WVLT first alert weather app, we've got it on our website as well. And uh, we will be here with you for the duration of all of these events until we can give you the absolute all clear. So for the next couple of hours, just uh, take a breather. If you're in the area that's having the uh, dense fog, just make sure you use those low beams, get to your destination safely. If you still have to get out and about and then over the weekend, keep checking back with us uh, here online or on the first alert weather app so you know exactly what's going on with these storms. And should we give you the all clear or be able to give you the all clear before uh, we get there? Of course, we'll do that as well. Have a great day. I'm going to see you back here at noon on WVLT News.